ambulance service. There's a patient breathing. I, know, I have an ambulance service. Okay, there's a patient breathing. Oh, no, 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 that is she breathing. No, she's not. Okay, what's the address of the emergency? Every hour of every day, West Midlands Ambulance Service receives nearly 200 cries for help. One and two and three. I think he's stopped breathing. He's moving all. He's literally been moving all. He's been shot. He's been shot. Yeah, he's been shot. He's been shot. This is the story of just two 12-hour shifts. From the critical decisions in the control centre on who gets care... She's just going to have to wait, isn't she? Yes, unfortunately, I'm not leaving a 16-month-old. Would... ..to the crews saving lives on the ground. She's breathing, mate, she's breathing, OK. I've just had a really bad job. Most of the people were dead. <sighs> Cameras capture the beating heart of our NHS. They're coming as fast as they can. I'm going to stay on the line with you, OK? We are extremely busy at the moment. We are trying to get to people as quickly as we can. I need them now. Where are they? We love you. Ambulance service, is the patient breathing? <gasps> I can't see her because she's screaming. How many weeks pregnant is she? She's, she's over. Get her to put her hands behind her knees and lift them up when she's pushing. Push her as hard as you can. Push. Push. I think you've got to. Why are you coming? Is she out? She's out. She's out. OK, tummy to tummy, so baby's going to... Tummy to tummy, okay. don't touch the cord. Rub the bottom of her feet. What? OK, make sure done. baby's cry, OK? Yeah. Wipe anything away from baby's mouth or nose. It's <laughs> crying. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Is it boy or a girl? Is it, is it boy or girl? Um, it's definitely a girl. <laughs> a girl. Oh, lovely. Congratulations. Let me know when they're with the patient. They're inside the house now. They're inside the house yeah. now. OK, then I'll leave you with this group. OK. okay. Thank you very much. All right, congratulations. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Well done, Bill. Wow. Is that your first one? Yeah. <laughs> It's the start of the morning shift. 242 ambulance crews will be on duty, ready to care for the 5.6 million people across the West Midlands. Beautiful. I've got a flask of black coffee and I'm ready for action. 4451, good morning. This is Wilsden and Fox on 77 day shift over. 4451, good morning. I'll put you on Have a good day. And Received. You. <laughs> and yourself over. <laughs> Thank you. Five five, we'll have a lovely shift over. We're not doing too bad this morning. Fair day won't be as exciting as ours. Do you think? Yeah. What if it's somebody's birthday and they bring a big That's cake in? Cake. Yeah. Maybe a. Then we a should clown. go over and eat the cake with them. Do you have a phone on? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Just booking on this vehicle, you've got Nat Greaves and Nat Callow until 1,600 hours over. Do you have a phone on? Thank you. Uh, 1,600 hours today over. Yeah? Yeah, that's correct, mate. It is my annual leave day. It's my daughter's very special birthday, but I have come in, so I do need to finish early over. I'm not a problem at all, thank you very much. I will get you booked on. Have a very good shift and we'll speak to you shortly. Yeah, thank you. 16, sweet 16. Right, I've put my post on about my baby, so that's all good in the world. Let me see. That picture. Oh, 
which is massive. There she is, look. Hello. That was last year's photo. On the ventilator. We don't need to put that one on today. We're happy day today, aren't we? I met Nat when she was a student. Back then, she was a full-time mum to three. Still is. Ah, oh, what? We made it, baby girl. Fuck her. Jess has got a life-limiting condition. She was starved of oxygen at birth, which led her to later diagnose with cerebral palsy. Getting to the age of 16 is a massive milestone for Jessica and her mum. Well, don't cry. Oh, we're not gonna. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not a crier. Let's go and be fabulous. Be fabulous today. I am fabulous. We are fabulous. Ambulance service is a patient breathing. Yes, she is. What's the reason for the call? The lady's had a fall on the landing up the stairs. Husband's just called in. He thinks that she's damaged her ankle. The nearest available crew to the patient is 4449. Nat and Nat. Four nine, thank you. So, seventy-year-old. It's a care line call. The patient's fallen, got an ankle injury. Husband is there, and we'll let you in. All received in mobile. Thank you, Eva. I mean, if we went straight into summer after Christmas, just say if we did. Oh, no, what, you need spring? I love spring. Yeah, OK, then, spring, Thanks. where the flowers start coming out and that. That would give people some brightness. I mean, look at today, so let's look at it. Christmas is over, New Year's over. You've got no money because it's a five-week month. And look at the weather. It's not about it being a five-week month. Yeah, but then look at the weather. So, you know, I can totally get the January blues. Yeah. Being back at work. Well, we don't want to go to work, do we? <laughs> Hold in. Thank you, much Cheers. So, all in all, it's a bit there. Yeah. Although, my children's birthday in January, so that always pleases me. Yeah. Have you got Jess? Pandora, right. Disney Pandora. Ah. Right, slip. Hello, Hello dear. Hello. What's your name, darling? Shirley. Shirley? What's been happening? I think I've broke my ankle. You think you've broke your ankle? Oh. Where's my husband? He's just yeah. here, darling. He'll tell you. Yeah. How long has Shirley been on the floor? Oh, about 20, 20 minutes to Oh, hour. OK. Yeah. All right. Now, can you feel that leg? I can feel that. Can you feel me touching here? Your sprained or broke? Um, I'm, I mean, obviously, I haven't got X-ray eyes, but I'm pretty sure it's broken. I think we're going to need to give you some pain relief. Oh. Um, tight seal. Big breath in, and what we need to do is try and get that leg in a splint. Have you got the parrot in, Rich? Yeah. Have you got it in? Yeah. That's all right. Does he talk? Yeah. Well, he would talk to you, but he does talk, yeah. He's got a very good vocabulary. Keep relaxing your leg down. Yeah. Very good. What does he say? Charlie, cracker, uh, Mom. Never think. Mom. Mom. Oh. He tells the dog to shut up. I don't blame him, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I think I would. And then leave that leg be done. That's right. it. Does that feel better now it's in a splint? Yeah, but I feel sick. Is that gas and air? Pass me some water. More gas and air? You've got good circulation, though, so it's good circulation. That's great. Yeah. I don't have to tip nobody's bed up. Stop worrying. Just help for yourself, then. I, well, I know, but stop worrying about people's beds. We're here for whenever you need us. As I want to get downstairs. Have a scoot, what do you reckon? Is he really? Is he really? And he couldn't take it. He could, huh? Come up here and carry me. You're really nearly at you two. Really? Well, what's the secret then? What's the secret? Sex. Oh! You're 80 year old, you can still carry me down these stairs. I reckon you could, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah, mate. I've got you. This part's lower down. I've got you. You hold on oh. to me. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that's it. Nice. Hold my hand. Hold that seat. What have you had done to this, Nick? You're key, really, isn't it? Four years ago, I died. They brought me back. I was intensive care. Oh, and ever since then, after that, everything in my body has gone wrong. Have you seen my parrot? No. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful one. parrot. It's, it's a, a proper, proper one. Of course it's a proper one, Charlie. It's Mummy's pride and joy. How old is he? Well, that son died 18 months ago. Oh, sorry. Oh, Hold on. His landlady. Where he lived, because he was 43. Yeah. Other parrot in her house, and he was the only one. Don't look after him. Oh, so you Because when she died, she gave him to me. Stay just there a second. Just to get some breathing. All right. Lower your leg down to a place where it's comfortable. All right. Oh, good. I've got a muscle there. A little bit. Right, let, let me have the leg. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. Oh, there you girls. Awesome. Well done, girls. I think you need Ladies. well done. The parrot's in. Come join the party. Ready when you are? Ready when you are, dear? Yes. Next of kin is that you, my darling? What's the secret to a happy marriage then? If nearly 50 years. Tell us, is it do as you're told? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do, yeah. Yeah. But I don't have to be told anyway. Oh. If she'll ask me to do something, then I'll do it. That's it. That is the key to a happy marriage. You don't have to be told, you just do it. It's wonderful. So you've run off your feet at the moment then? Oh, really? It's, uh, it's a pensioners or a No, absolutely That's not. That's what they say in the papers. I don't think you can be classed as a pensioner, to be honest with you. You just don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you two do have a right laugh. Right. It's all about having a laugh, isn't it? Taking today to Tables Hall for X-rays and further monitoring over. Can I have a squish? No, you can have a squish. Good. Good Natty. Yeah, I I was 34 when I took the plunge and my paramedic journey. Initially, what set me down the path was the fact that I'd used 999 for Jessica. And I just admired what they did, you know, not only for Jessica, but for me as her mum and her dad and, and, and her sisters. They supported us as a family and I, I thought, you know, I, I could do that. That's something I'd love to do. This is the patient breathing. Yeah, it's nothing like that. I think... I mean, I was a bit of Do you think you've lost enough red blood to fill a coffee mug? A coffee mug? I've lost more than that, my friend. I've I flushed the toilet three times. <laughs> very, very, very blue. So you need to go one and two and three. That's the way it's going to be. I mentioned that. I've got Daniel here. He's extremely agitated and it's more of his mental state, really. I'm phoning from a community centre. Yeah. We're worried about his safety. Nine miles away from the community centre, one of only two specialist mental health cars in the region is available. It is immediately dispatched. We've um, ended up on the motorway. It's absolute gridlock. Um, whatever you're doing, make sure that you make via uh, alternative routes. Stop. How hard is it to just stop you, Rick? Okay, you'll see. <laughs> Rich, a paramedic, Harriet, a specialist mental health nurse, and James, a police officer, work together to make sure patients in psychological distress get direct access to the help that they need. He's got a history of paranoid schizophrenia and he's quite agitated, restless, he's not able to sit down, tearful. 
um, thoughts of suicide. Today he's gone to the community centre. Normally they would help him out with food and um, just a bit of support. OK, and I'm guessing this behaviour then at the moment is, is obviously out of the ordinary for him and his normal yeah, so, presentation. So they're saying that he's contacted the GP and mental health services who aren't able to offer any help today. Beyond their scope of support for him, so they've called an ambulance. Hello, Harriet. Daniel. I'm Harriet, a mental health nurse. Oh, yeah. This is Rich. Hi, Daniel. Well, I can't take medication properly. I can't sleep. OK. I can't eat. I'm collapsing. I'm a music man, you know. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not my normal self. OK. I'm, I'm, not my normal, you... I'm not my normal happy self. So, so the people upstairs, they told me to, like, be straight with you and talk to you mm -hmm. and show you yeah. what's going on. And we're going to help you. And be straight. And if I be straight with you and I show you, then you can help me then, yeah. can't you? So how long have you not been taking your medication for? I haven't took medication now all over Christmas. On the floor. Have, have you stopped? Legs, have you stopped all your tablets? Yes, altogether. Yes. Altogether, completely, not at all. all and you've been worked up and stressed, aren't you as well? So it's I'm probably a combination out. of all that. Stressed out yeah. all the time. The team can carry out a full mental health assessment on the spot to avoid patients being held up in A and E. Okay. Now, I was being bit for over two and a half years. Okay. Continuous. And I'm getting this all day. I'm getting bits all the time. I'm finding big lumps on my skin mm. where the lumps won't go away. So it's not just one parasite that's biting me. There's seven different parasites that are biting me, and they're all doing different things to me. They're making lumps come underneath my skin. I'm getting bit 200 times on my head. I've got holes in my head. All lumps all over here. Okay. All lumps over here. All lumps over here. And then all my body now is feeling like sandpaper. I'm having negative force and I don't like all the negative force. All right. What I'm getting in my head, but I can't stop. What have you done with because, that tissue? Because, because just... things, things are yeah. just coming in my head. Things are just going around in my head. And I can't stop the things. OK. Those things. I Listen can't stop them. Listen. Can't stop them. Daniel. Can't stop them. Tell me how long you've been feeling like this for. Long time. Weeks? It's happened to me over about, what, three and a half years now. What bad thoughts are you having? I don't care anymore about my life. I don't care what happens to me, what's going on with me. It's all too much. Listen, do you think that you would hurt yourself? Sometimes I do think about it, you know. OK. Because there's too much things going on, you know. Yeah. You know, too much, you know. Most of the time I can't think straight. OK. I can't think straight. I'm um, confused. OK. I Have mean, you got I a mean, family, Daniel? Um, I have, but I don't really see them. OK. Because I'm not well, so I isolate myself. That way, I don't do anything to nobody. That way, I don't say nothing to someone, what I shouldn't say. What do you think about going into hospital again today? Um... Think it would be a good idea? By hospital, I mean Hallam Street, probably. I mean a mental health hospital. <clears throat> so you can have your medication reviewed, mental state reviewed. You know, you said to me it's that you've got schizophrenia. Yeah. Do you think that maybe you, it might have come back and...? and... Some of it, yeah. Yeah. I think probably why you're feeling not so well today is because one of the reasons will be that you haven't taken any medication. So all of the symptoms of the schizophrenia are really quite bad now, aren't they? Yeah? So if you can be restarted on your medication, some of those symptoms will alleviate, won't they? Once you feel a little bit better, the, the bites and the fleas and stuff will probably reduce, won't they? Yeah? What do you think about coming back to hospital? I think it would be a good idea. OK. You understand that you're going to go to hospital to get better, yeah? Because you're not very well. Yes. OK. And now they'll, they'll... You've been to Hallam Street, haven't you? Hopefully we can get a bed there. you you got to help me. That's why I'm speaking to you. OK. That's why I'm opening up with you. Thank you very much. Is right. there anything else that you want to tell me?
Kopf in ihre Hand. Oh mein Gebet, ja. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Just a quick update with this job. Um, the patient does require admission to a psychiatric hospital. Um, it's willing to go. We've liaised with Hannum Street and unfortunately uh, there's no beds available at the moment. So we're just waiting for a call back um, as to where uh, the nearest bed uh, would be received. While the mental health team wait for news of a bed, 15 miles away, an urgent 999 call is in progress. Is the patient breathing? She's not responding. OK, so you can't wake her up at all? No, she's not responding. What's the patient's name? It's Jessica Greaves. How old is Jessica? She's 16. Today. Tell me what's happened. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm, I'm just at work at the minute. Four nine, thanks. Um, Nat's just receiving a call from um, her daughter's care. Um, so, whatever you do, don't give us a job for a few minutes, just until we can try and work out what's going on. Yeah, let us know what's happening. My daughter, she's not responding. OK. Swap, come out. It's fine, jump out. You go round, you go round to the other side. It's fine. Four nine, thank you. Uh, Natalie's daughter's not responding. But it's not believed to be normal, um, which is why the school of phones. She's got a care package in place where she has to attend Russell's Hall. Bear with me a second. Do you want to go to the school or do you want to go to Russell's Hall? Um, I just need... Uh, whatever, I just needed to go to Russell's Hall. No, where else now is that? Is that what you said, that she needs to go to Russell's Hall Hospital? Is that where she's uh, supposed to go over? Do they want me to go to her? What I need you to do is get, get the nearest crew, get them to the patient. My concern is getting Nat to her daughter. If it's quicker to meet her at Russell's Hall, we'll meet her there, ever. So I've got a crew two minutes away now. The birth. You know. Four nine. <laughs> Four nine yet. We've got a crew now that's two minutes away. And, uh, you... you can meet your daughter at the, uh, at the hospital, over. It makes sense, really, doesn't it? To yeah, 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 man. I mean, she's really upset. Scary, yeah, it's scary. No, it's one thing to have a call, but when it's your kids... Yeah, well, it's... it's terrifying, isn't it? Crew 4271 are the nearest available. They are immediately dispatched. After assessing Jessica at scene, they will make the 30-minute journey to Russell's Hall Hospital so that she can be seen by her specialist team. Nat has decided to drive the six miles to the hospital where they can wait for Jessica to arrive. A mighty bird, I know it. Um, they've called an ambulance to Jessica. <laughs> you need to get to Russell's Hall. <laughs> They're saying she's unconscious. They can't get her to respond. Um, I, I've told Control there's a crew that are two minutes away, so they're getting to her. Um, I don't know. I'm not with her. I, don't, I just don't know. <laughs> Yeah, OK. All right, try. Try. What did the school say? They can't, they can't get her to respond. They only ever rule 999 once before, and that's when she was fitting. Is that all they said, that she's just not responding? Yeah, she's not responding. Completely floppy and not responding. <sighs> Who's got her? Who's got her?
We were 16 minutes away. They were 16 we minutes away? We were. We were 16 minutes away, oh, not them. And we how were far were they? Two. Your mind's going to be going like a million miles an hour. After Jessica's birth, she was given to me and I was told this would be the first and last time I held her alive. I weren't supposed to have her a day. I weren't supposed to have her two days. If somebody had have said to me that you're going to have her for 16 years, I'd have just been over the moon with that. No, I'm not. Jessica's unconscious. She's coming in. Jessica's unconscious. She's coming in by ambulance. I'm, I'm, um, I'm at Russell Hall. I'm on shift, so... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <coughs> no. She will be, yeah. No, no. I'm with the other nut. I haven't seen her. Your dad's with her. OK. All right. All right. I know it. I know that this is the downward decline. Well, it might. It might just be. She no, you haven't said, seen. I know. I know. I'm not stupid. I know. Just, you know, it's just. It's mind-boggling, yeah. Head. Yeah, I know. It is. It's wrapping your head around it. But it's okay. It's your baby. An okay birth. <sighs> I had the party on Sunday. That pleases me. And then it's not tonight. Because she's had a party, hasn't she? My baby. Hello? Yeah. I've always been on this preparation of losing her. Every day I was thinking, is it going to be today? Is it going to be tomorrow? Can I plan something in a month's time? Because actually, Jessica might not be here in a month. You grieve for that life that she should have had. And then you come to acceptance and accepting that this is how life is now. This is Jessica. This is our family. This is our life. So I did musical at the time. That's really good. So, 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 so this is like is uh, some of the music I work on, you know. Mm. Great. I try and do music to keep myself occupied. Yeah, and you're much calmer, aren't you, when you're thinking nicer things? Yeah. Yeah. The mental health team have now been on scene with Daniel for 45 minutes, waiting for a mental health bed to become available. 
Tell me about your music. Tell us about your music. I play bass, keyboard, guitar. I write all my own songs. There you go. So you do like some things. Uh, oh. Have you done a video as well? I love the baby girl, that you really wanna do. Is it just your hat that you're filming? Come over here, I love you girl. So that's my song. Very good. That's my own music. That's, that's really music. good. I like it, yeah. yeah, it's good. You, you like cheering me up here. Yeah. Good, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that I come here today, you know, and I'm glad that you're helping <laughs> me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you smiling? I know. Very uh, good. Because you can see a different side of me, innit? I can. You can see a nice side You're of me. You're smiling now. You nice You're more relaxed. Yeah. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for taking my blood pressure out Yeah, Because yeah. everything's gone down now, innit? It's come down now. It's, you started playing your music, you started relaxing, it's back to normal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Good. I'm happy that I'm going to get help. Hello, it's Harriet again from Street Triad. Um, obviously, I guess, I guess the time that it might take for somebody to be discharged could be hours, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and he's he's quite agitated, so we 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 he's easily distracted. But I don't want to. It's unfair for us to keep him here for hours. Do you know what I mean? It's not it's not fair. So. Right, we've got a bed at Penn Hospital, which is in Wolverhampton. Yes. Is that all right? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We'll take you over there. Uh, yes. So if you drink your cup of tea, yes. get your stuff together, and we can go. Today's a new day, isn't it? And hopefully yeah. things are going to turn around today. Yeah. Cool. Come on, this way. Yeah. This car here, look. Thank you. We good to go? Yes, we are, yes. Yeah, you don't need to worry about nothing. Okay. Let's have a chill. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's uh, Nat Kalo. Um, I've left Nat Greaves in. Uh, we've managed to get her daughter into paediatric area. Um, I've left Nat at the hospital. Obviously, she wants to. Well, she needs to stay with the daughter, really. Um, so I am now clear at Russell's Hall of Her. Oh, Roger. Thank you. Um, is the daughter doing all right? Under, under the circumstances, circumstances over. She's definitely doing better than what she was, um, so I think they're just going to keep her for some investigations to try and find out what's caused the event that has today ever. Oh, Roger, OK. Well... I'll return you then, and um, we'll take you from there. We'll, we'll put you on break and um, and uh, take you from there. We'll see you, Deborah. That's lovely. Thank you, sweetheart. It makes me sad. It's hard looking after someone that you love 24 hours a day. I look at Nat and think, she's my friend. She's just super mom. She's super Nat, super para. I'm a mum to one and I struggle. <laughs> Boggles my mind. How does she do it? After an all night vigil at her daughter's bedside, Nat is able to take Jessica home. Despite her sleepless night, Nat decides to return to work. Dudley? Yeah. First job of the night Let's, shift. I know. That's all right. I like that. Let's go and be fabulous in our own area. Let's be fabulous. You ready, bird? Good to go, bird. 
It's very tight in this garage, green. isn't it, sometimes? Honest to God. Red, red, red. Green. <laughs> We are going to a 46-year-old male with chest pain. The trial has just asked me how Jessica is. Oh, She phoned you? me back and I said, she's not well. She's got a nasty infection, but she's in the capable hands of her daddy and nanny. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, get through the shift. And they were like, well, if you need to go, go. But I'm hoping not, Bird, you know. If I had, if, it, if you think, if I had every day off, Jessica, I wouldn't have been at no. work for about three months. No. It's, get, there's a, there's a, it's just a balance, isn't it? Because... Yeah, absolutely. And, and if she was in, I'd be there. Yeah. So... But she's, she's back at home. She's got the nurses with her. Yeah. For a long time, I was really frightened that if anything happened to Jessica, what was left then for me? Being a paramedic, it gave me a life outside of the world of Jessica. It gave me me back. Mm. Totally got this bird. Nat and Nat are one of 272 crews on duty tonight, and the control room is currently receiving over 150 calls every hour. Oh my God! You got the number attack. Is the patient awake at the moment? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Like, I can't really hear you. You got the number attack on the stairs. Um, I'm not holy cow. Have you got any pain anywhere at all? In my, um, excuse me, in my bottom. She's fallen and she's fallen in her knees. What's her date of birth? What's your date of birth? Hmm? Where did that fall? Now, when was it born? 1916. Makes her 101. 101? Yeah. Ambulance crew 4451 have arrived at the patient's home. Hello, Mary. Hello. My name's Dawn and this is Justin. What's happened to you today? I only just fell. Have you got any pain in your neck or your back? I'm there, yes, but I think it's a little bit lower down, but it's, I can feel. 101-year-old Mary lives independently with the support of carers. Now, go down from there and I'll tell you again. That's it. What were you doing? Walk. <laughs> you had too much whiskey on your cornflakes. I didn't have any. Thank you. Don't tell them. Just the whiskey. <laughs> so, of course, I went down on my knees, so that's... Is it a bit sore there? Yeah. It's a bit tender down the back. Is she? Mm. OK. Oh, you look ever so nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Handsome, isn't it? Looks it? Nice. Do you use yeah, glasses yeah. normally? You do? Oh, oh, yes. I'm a very good wife, you know. Really? Can you yeah. cook? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like faggots and peas, yeah. Oh, peas. <laughs> yeah. Don't you like mushy peas? It's over before it started. <laughs> we'll get you sat up then. Have a shuffle backwards, my sweet. Now you want to have a waltz with Justin. Hold on to me. Hold on to me. Both arms. Show me how you move. Do you feel OK walking forward? My knees are sort of... Are they, are weak. they weak? Very weak, yes. I've made you go weak at the knees. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. How's that? <laughs> Good. Thank you, yeah. We'll do some checks. Right, I need a spot of blood. Is that all right? No, it all depends on whether you hurt me or not. OK, one, two... Oh, he never hurt me at all. Oh, uh, no. I'm always gentle, to begin with. Oh, I see. Squeeze that for me. Oh. <laughs> Turn your eyes away. <laughs> we, do, we don't perform in public. Yes, I, I know, yes, I know. I know all the tricks. Don't yeah. you think I will? Don't, because I do. 
Oh, I should imagine you do, yes. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I could get into trouble here. Yeah, that's right. By the time you finish, you won't know whether it's day or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're lovely, you are. I like a joke. It's not... That's yeah, what keeps you going, being cheerful, isn't it? And I mean, I don't do anybody any harm. No. I simply enjoy life. Yes, it is. It's great. You've got a great sense of humour. Mm. Let's do your blood pressure. Thank you. Who are all these people? My family. Up there. Oh, that's a lovely and picture. The that one. Who's that? It's my daughter. Oh. And this is my son with his family, the, the three of them. <laughs> what did you do when you worked, Mary? Nursing. Nursing. Oh, you can tell us what to do then. <laughs> It was it was harder work by, way back when, wasn't it? But I enjoyed it. Did you? Mm. Every bit of it. Yeah. <laughs> blood pressure's high. Yeah. Your blood pressure's a bit high. It's having you to do it. <laughs> it really good, it? Have you got any headaches or any vision problems? Uh, no, I didn't until you came. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take you up to the hospital today, just to get it checked out, OK? Usually, this is what happens. And you get to come out with Justin as well. Can you sit in the back of the vehicle? I've got to have a bit of company. I can't be on my own. Well, I was driving. Oh. I'll drive. You can you keep are. Justin. Sorted. And you can sit in the back. Oh, that'd be... Hold my hand. That'd be lovely. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute with a chair for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We'll get you a chair, my darling. Yes, all right. To be honest, consistently high, that blood pressure, it was just too high, wasn't it? Yeah. She's at risk, isn't she, of yeah. stroke or something? And she's such a beautiful lady. Would devastate her, wouldn't it? She's, she's still relatively independent, isn't she? So We're back. <gasps> Hello How's again. Pop this on, my sweet. It's cold out there. Oh, look at that. Have a shuffle forward and again. Oh, how about that? Beautiful. That's practice, isn't it? That's lovely, that is. Lovely. Right. Oh, I am thrilled. Me, Mary, too, me too. I'm going to tip you back, OK? Yes, I'm right, darling. And I'm, now, now I'm in safe hands. You are. <laughs> <laughs> She made my day. You go in there and hold her hand. He's oh. going to hold your hand now, Mary. I hope everyone's as nice as you tonight. <laughs> I don't think there will be. I, don't, I think you've set the bar really high. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> if we can get this blood pressure sorted, you'll be, you'll be, <laughs> I'll be most happy. Yeah. You're 101. Yeah. Wow. What's your secret then, Mary? No secret. Just go on living. It's brilliant. That's amazing, that is. If I make it to 61, I'll be happy. You'll make it. <laughs> Think about me and then you'll make I it. I will, yeah. I'm going to keep smiling every day. That's right. Did you enjoy the social side of the nursing as well? It, to me, it suited me fine because I like to be on the go, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, I like the maternity. I love to bring the babies into the world. Yeah, me too. Oh, I used to love them to bits, so little babies. We're here now. Are we? Oh, Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have you had a good chat on the way in? She enjoyed delivering babies too. Oh, did you? <laughs> I don't like it. She's yeah. frightened of all the mess. I don't. She's no friend of ours, is she? No. Five, one over. Um, yeah, she... <laughs> I don't know where to begin with this lady. She was great. I was flirting from the beginning, actually. She, uh, she was like... making some jokes. I actually got embarrassed for a change, which is unusual. It's night, then you could have found the love of your life there ever. I know, I think I missed the boat there. She's 102 in May, but uh, we've been invited to her party, so that's something. We're having a good night tonight. He was having a date with a 101-year-old there. We need more Marys in the world. Lovely. Oh, 
What have we got? 36 year old male, drug taker, cracked for a long time, caused chest pain. Something tells me this isn't good. <laughs> Be a, a Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> it is one extreme to the other, isn't it? Yeah. Let's bring the noise. 999 mode, activated. Ambulance services, the patient breathing. Uh, it's regarding myself. Um, I'm going to kill myself tonight. Stay on the line with me, because we can help you get past this. <laughs> I don't doubt for a second that you are feeling serious about this, but I want to make sure that you're going to get some help before he gets to that point, OK? okay well, I don't see any reason to stay alive. I understand it doesn't feel like you're getting anywhere, but we are coming to help you. That's why I'm staying on the line with you. I'm you know, I'm going. What's happening? What happened? He's still there. Nothing there. This noise on the phone, I think he's just dropped it. He's still there. Yeah, I'm here, yeah. There, okay. What happened? Oh, I've got nothing. To live for. There are people out there that care about you and they're going to be with you shortly. Can you flag them down? Can you see them? Oh, I see. Yeah, I can okay. see them. Go talk to them, it'll be fine. Hello there. Hi there, are you with him? Yes, we're on scene now, yeah. Okay, then I'll leave you with them there, okay? Thank you very much. Bye, bye. Bye bye. After being assessed, the patient is taken by ambulance to A&E. Ambulance service, how can I help? Hello, it's the police. Can we request an ambulance, please? Due to report of a deceased patient, the police are on route to see. Obviously, thanks. What's he say? No, given him proximity. Unconscious, absent, ineffective breathing, no indication seen in faith, nobody in close proximity to casualty. So, police are on route? Yeah. So, might be suspicious. I was thinking there's going to be something. Yeah. Nat and Nat are five miles away from the scene. Although the patient is reportedly deceased, another ambulance and police are also dispatched. What are you thinking, Hanging? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> oh. Somebody's come round and come to visit all. Um Why did you get Because I climbed in through the window, which is open. He's been here a couple of days. Um, I just put coffee in my head, but I just... We're right there for a second, guys. Um, we haven't checked in for a note or anything, have we? No, not yet. Just check in there, see whether there's any um, letters or anything. We're going to have a... Do you want me to go and have a look in the lounge? Yeah, we're going to have a look in the lounge. Um... God. Oh, why to leave? 
Got no light. It is cold in here. Oh, that light comes hello. Out. Oh, look at the dog. Hello, baby. Oh, that was really old. Hello. Hello. No, there's no oh, electric. My. We've got no water. Oh. Shall I give him some water? Here we go. Come on, have a drink. Oh, there you go. Come here, then you'll get it as well. Come here, Papa. Oh. Absolutely full of fleas. It makes me sad. And he can't scratch cos he can't lift his leg up. Poor doggies. Oh, they're starving. <sighs> Come here, then. Come on here. Right, can't see any sign of any note. I can't see a, a note. So I'm just going to find the RSPCA so for the dogs. I checked him for a note. There's no note. There's nothing. There's nothing untoward on him. I've been to a hanging before. Never, never been to one. I just, just think why. But, um, I just think, I think it's what would drive somebody to do that. We'll do our paperwork. Four 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 nine. Whiskey Mike, four 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 nine, Eva. Yeah, I've got deceased um, details. Uh, if you ready, Eva? Roger, affirmative. Go ahead. Um, this gentleman sadly was found hanging this evening by a neighbour. Police were on the scene. Um, no suspicious circumstances. Um, by myself, at Natalie Greaves, nine zero eight eight. All received? Roger, okay. okay just want to no, check on your welfare from our side, over. Yeah, um, a bit difficult to be honest for me. First time I've been to a hanging. Um, so, um, you know, yeah, a uh, bit sad. Um, Nat's, you know, uh, Nat's okay. Bit sad, over. Oh, I can only imagine. Do you want, um, do you want a bit of downtime, Eva? Yeah, that would be great. If we could just have a few minutes, thank you. Roger, OK. I'll leave you to it and uh, you just give us a call when you're ready, OK? Oh. Yeah, I'm all right. I think it, just a job I knew that would bother me, I think. Um, and it's more the fact to why you would do that. What, you know, somebody must be so sad, so lonely, that you feel you've got no other way out but to take your own life. And that, it's that that makes me sad. I just think the only way you can take any comfort from that is the fact that it was his choice. And actually, whatever he was going through, he's not going through anymore. How many people are struggling like that? Even though we wear green, we're not immune to life events and sad things that happen to people. We still have the same heartache. Yes, I wear green and I'm a paramedic, but I also need people in green as much as the public need me. First delivery of a baby was with you. I know, but like I said, and my first hanging be... was with you. I don't mean I'd rather. I'd, I'd rather you never, never have to deal with it in your whole career. Some people go a whole career without doing it. But if it's going to be with somebody, I'd rather it be with me. Yeah. 
trying to find a track that I'm not going to find crazy on that. Today, my daughter. Hey! I know. I promised Red her. I pinky promised her. You can't come to work knowing how your day is going to be. You can't do that. That's why I do love this job. No two days the same. Because so many people have helped me and Jessica. And I wanted to be that person for other people because of what a difference it had made to my life. I definitely couldn't work in an office. I couldn't do it. Can't use a computer. <laughs> you shop all right, I'm lying there. <laughs> my daughter has taught me to live every day. Live every day as if it's your last day because you don't know if tomorrow's going to be there. Next, on Ambulance. Oh, look! Ah, oh, fireworks! Happy New Year! Let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> 